hello guys welcome back to my channel i am walter boat your data analysis and excel expert in today's lesson i'm going to show you how to calculate the new ghana revenue authority psum tax rate in a few weeks past gra updated its tax rate so i will be showing you how to calculate that for the year 2023 this means the old tax that we used last year i have a video on that that is no more valid and we have to find a way to calculate the current tax rate as we all know the tax system in ghana it doesn't work on a flat rate it isn't as if if you are earning an amount per month you are going to be paying a certain percentage out of it as tax or as a income tax no it doesn't work like that GRA use a system, a graduated rate system to do this. So in this tutorial, I'll be using two methods to show you. First, we'll do this manually here. We'll do it manually here. And after that, we'll use a formula to do it. Okay. So without much ado, let's go straight to it. Good. Please, before I continue, if this is your first time here, don't forget to like this video subscribe and share to support my channel thank you let's go so now let's say here a person earns 5000 cities per month good from the table here we can see the chargeable income we have the rates we have the tax payable the cumulative income and cumulative tax okay and these are the the level of income so the first 402 cities is free be tax free after that whatever you earn will be taxed the next 120 sorry the next 110 will be charged at five percent let me correct this this is percentage and not a currency so let me correct it let's go to the calculation now first the manual calculation so we are told that the first 402 cities okay will be charged nothing which is zero so the tax for that amount is zero that's right good there's nothing here so now the next thing is to deduct this 402 from our income so that's going to be 5000 minus 402 cities and what is going to be left is 4598 now we'll compare it to the chargeable income and see if there's a level that can be charged and yes the next 110 cities you can get it from this so next 110 and that 110 cities is being charged at five percent okay and when we calculate five percent of 110 cities We'll get five cities 50 pesos so you write five cities 50 pesos here now next we'll deduct this from this okay we'll deduct what we just charged on which is 110 cities from the previous bulk amount good so this will be equals to this minus this yes so now we'll take this amount and go to the next level which is 110 which is 130 cities so the next 130 cities that will be charged at 10 percent and if we charge that at 10 percent that's going to give us 13 cities right good so again we did that this 110 from the previous amount so that's going to give us this minus this which is 4358 cities yes so what else the next 3000 yes we can still get the next 3000 from this amount so 3000 here 
and th the next three thousand CDs is charged at eighteen percent. And when we charge that, it's going to give us five hundred and twenty-five CDs. Yeah, so five hundred and twenty-five CDs here. Now let's we still have some, a difference. So as we always do, we'll deduct this from this. So this minus this. And then now we have 1358 left. Okay, and then let's look at the next amount, which is what 29. Sorry, the next amount is 16,395. And that is above this. Okay, that is above what we have left. So we just check the percentage at that level on our remaining amount. So the percentage here is 25 percent. So let's check 25 percent of this. So here we are going to have this amount times 25 percent good so these are the taxes that applies to our money which is five thousand cities so let's calculate the next thing is to just calculate the the total so uh, press out equals to and then we'll extend this And how much do we have here? We have 882 or oh, we have 883 CDs. Good. Wow. And that is equals to what we have here using our automated calculator. So over here, I embedded a calculator in here, an if function, very long one. So we'll, let's see how to use that autom automated function to solve this instead of going the manual way. We can do this and if you embed this in your payroll system, just a click and you have your and you have your taxes calculated. So here if I change this amount, you see that the tax amount here will, will, will change to 3000 and we have 431 let's see if it is below 402 what will happen so 400 cities and there's no tax because government says the first 402 cities is tax free so yeah so let's see the formula here this is the formula a very long one very very long one here as you can see so we'll go through it you're going equals to if So what are we calculating for we are calculating for the tax on this amount so this amount is in b14 okay so the cell reference here is b14 so you can click so you can either click here or we write b14 manually so b14 and then i think it will select good so if b14 is less than or equals to 402 what does government say or what does GRA says it says what charge nothing so zero is that okay so if our, our salary here is less than or equals to 400 402 CDs you charge nothing good now let's graduate to the next level what if it is more than that so again you go to if B14 is less than or equals to what is the next amount here so we are going to use the cumulative income here okay so if it is less than or equals to 515 for here you see this is the cumulative income chargeable income cumulative income so the additions here will give you the cumulative so this plus this will give you this and then when we add the 130 to the previous we are going to get this amount so that is how it's here it works so for this formula we'll be using the cumulative income good this shows the graduated uh, tax system that we are using in ghana good so the next it says what if b14 or our salary is less than or equals to 515 cities what should happen GRA says we should charge what we should charge five percent tax rate is that also 
good so what will happen is we will subtract the previous amount from the current rate okay so the previous amount is what is 402 so we'll subtract it from what we have now so if it is 502 we will subtract this from it so that the tax will affect only the balance which is 110 cds is that okay as indicated here that is why it is if b14 is greater sorry if b14 is less than or equals to 515 don't charge on all the 515 first of all subtract 402 series which is tax free from the odds from the 512 before you do what you multiply by the five percent tax rate is that okay? if that is okay let's move on good then we move ahead again so if i hope by now the logic is setting and you get the where we are going right so next level is 642 so it'll be 14 okay is less than or equals to 642 what should excel do first of all we are going to what as we did uh, uh as we did before we are going to subtract the previous chargeable amount which is 515 from the level in which we are or on which we are which is what 642 but before then don't forget that at the previous level we charge five percent so we have to add that five percent to the current tax that we'll be getting so that's when we charge five percent at the previous level we had five cds 50 pesos are you aware of that so we had this five cds 50 pesos here the cumulative tax plus b14 minus the previous rate or the previous cumulative income which is 512 multiply that by the percentage and the percentage is 10 percent right good now we are done with that level now let's move on to the next which is 3642 so if b14 is less than or equals to three thousand six four two what should excel do add the previous amount that we got which is what 18 cities 50 pesos add it to what we are adding it to the b14 minus the previous cumulative income which is 642 okay and multiply it by the current rate of eight of what 18 percent uh, the current rate is 17.5 percent I, I think there is a mistake here i did some uh, so let me let me correct this let's continue 17.5 okay multiply by 17.5 next we'll move to the next level the next cumulative income is twenty thousand and seventy twenty thousand and thirty seven cities okay so if b14 is less than or equals to twenty thousand and thirty seven what should have been at the previous cumulative tax which is five hundred and forty three five four three point 
class B14 minus the previous relative income which is 3,042 3,642 Now we multiply that by 25% We continue if B14 is that now equals to the next level is fifty thousand what is happening we are adding the previous cumulative tax of four six four two point two five we'll add it to b fourteen minus the previous which is twenty thousand and thirty seven multiplying the percentage is what 30 percent good so now we are done with all the level and the last level says 50,000 okay the level says exceeding 50,000 so if the salary is above 15,000 what do we do to it we charge at 35 percent so here we just so that will be our false statement that will be our value if false as you can see here value if false if all the other conditions were not met this is what is going to happen then that's going to be we are going to charge 35 percent okay so that will be the previous cumulative tax 13 is and 31.15 will be added to B14 minus 50,000 okay times 35 percent now close the bracket make sure all brackets are closed that is 5 and voila we have our tax calculated okay and this is similar to what we got by calculating it manually if you're having a problem with this i'll suggest that you watch some videos on if statements yes i think that will go a long way to help you so check the videos i have a lot of videos on my channel on excel so and some show on my facebook at water boot you can check that out so now let me let's change the amount here and see how happens let's say we are earning four thousand what happens and it is six thirty three cities let's go to our manual calculator also and see four thousand here and that changes to six thirty three okay so this is quite simple this is how to calculate your pay as you earn income in 2023 thank you for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe and share thank you